In this problem, we're told what average net force is required to accelerate a car with a mass of 1200 kilograms from zero to 27 meters per second in 10 seconds. So let's just go ahead and draw what's going on here. We have this car, zero meters per second, and we're going to be applying some force to it. And uh, we're trying to do it in 10 seconds. We're trying to get it to 27 meters per second, right? We're trying to find the force to do that. So there's a few things you need to know. First, the second law, um, right? Newton's second law, which is force equals mass times acceleration. So if you want to solve for force, right? Right, how much force something's going to take. You just need to know its mass. In this case, the mass of our car is 1200 kg. That's just constant. And then we're going to multiply it by the acceleration during this interval. So keep in mind, we have the mass, so it's just 1200 times A, which is what we're going to solve for in this problem, based on the other information they give us. So let's write down what we're given. So we know at the beginning of our interval, right, which is the initial velocity is zero. We know the time it's going to take is 10 seconds. So t equals 10 seconds. And then notice the end of our interval velocity, or v final, is just 27 meters per second. And as I stated before, we're going to be solving for a. So this is basically what we know. And how do we solve for a given these variables? So we can use one of the kinematic formulas, v equals v sub 0 plus a times t, because we know the acceleration is constant. And so uh, just plugging it in, right, 27 equals, and then the initial velocity is just 0. So 0 plus a times t, we know t is 10. So basically 27 equals 10a, and then if we want to solve for a, divide by 10, and you're going to find a equals 2.7 meters per second squared. So now we've got the acceleration, and that's basically just what we needed to solve. So now we have the mass times the acceleration, which was 2.7 for this interval. So you just do 1200 times 2.7. Keep in mind, when you solve this, this needs to be in kg, this needs to be in meters per second squared, which it is, so we don't really need to worry. but. Uh, yeah, so do 2.7 times 1,200, and you're going to find F equals 3,240, and the units for it is newtons. So the force is going to be equal to 3,240 newtons, or D, so this right here is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.